Bye for me for the weekend. Uh, I'll be coming this weekend. No, no, no. No, this weekend is fine. <laughs> it's alright. No, no. So, how are you? Hi, Zabunja. Oh, yeah, my sister told me about this visit. Alright, I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye. Oh. <laughs> you're, you're talking to Lisa? Yes, Mama. Yeah. Yes. Okay, your father wants to see you. He wants to speak with you. Alright, Mama. Yeah. I'm behind you. Uh, no problem. Chidima, my daughter. Papa. See, when the eyes is crying, the nose shares in the agony. And when a man sees a tiny snake on his way, he comes to tell his kinsmen that he has seen a big python. Otua. And whatever is meant to be worn on your eyes cannot be seen on your arm. And the greatest risk a child will undertake is to lie to his or her parents and try to cover it up or smart on just to give that feeling that he or she is wise. Jidema. Mm. Papa. For the last time, I'll ask you as your father. Do you have any skeleton in your cupboard? And what are you doing in the dark that you do not even want the sun to reveal? No, tell us. Our people say a father can use his head to wage a bullet for his children. Yes, that's true. But then? Nothing. I repeat, nothing. That you will tell me. Or your mother. Or your parents. That is wrong with your life that we will not stand by you or protect you. The ear will never begin to bleed because of what it hears. And no matter what the eye sees, it will not bleed, Lord. Everything has solution. Even death. Yes, they say it does not have a solution. Because nobody can bring the dead to the, to, to the living. Yes, we know. But what is happening in this family and in the lives of our children. It's not anything we would have wished them to go through. That is not the kind of life we planned for them. Yet this girl will not open up to us. My child, open up to your mother, to your father, and we will be there to protect you. We'll be there for you. Please. Don't hide it from us. You know what I'm talking about. Say it to us. Papa. Mama. Yes. See, I think it's high time I left this house for the both of you. Yes. Me, I'm tired of all this. So I'm tired of all this. Maybe I should just go to Lagos or somewhere else. Eh? Why is every meeting in this house always about Chidima? Why? Because I see evil. Yes, I see evil coming, riding on the wing to destroy my family. Chidima, we are restless. You may go anywhere you want to go to. But I tell you this, you can never be smarter than your children. At all. We are your gods. We are your earthly gods. 
let that thing that wants to take your head come. Chidiman, it has to take me first. Yes. Eh? Tell us. Stop pretending. Naked yourself and let us see the scars. I know where we can be your help. We are traumatized. We are restless. We are worried about you. I'm not hiding anything, please. Have you seen it? Have you seen what I've been telling you? This girl is very secretive. Even right from childhood, you cannot uh, 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 you know, trick her or cajole her into saying something that is on her mind. She will hide it and never reveal it to you. Yeah, they say she's a direct reincarnation of your late mother. And this is exactly the way your mother was behaving when she was on earth. Woman, Abra. shut up. Hiding her money everywhere. Ah! Talking something to you, you're putting me in your head. I need to call Ada right away. You don't go, you do not go, you know. talked about that. Okay. I love you too. <laughs> Listen, I love you, okay? Yeah. Okay. Alright, I'll call you back up. Hey baby, how are you? Are you okay? You're not sleeping. <sighs> no baby, I can't sleep. I have a lot of work to do. I'm trying to finish my work here. Are you cheating on me with Sandra again? After what you promised me. Babe, what stupid question is that? What stupid question is that? What do you mean by that? I had a dream about you. And I saw the both of you kissing in your office. I'm serious. I will kill you if you dare go back to your words. See, I don't even have time to start monitoring or checking your phone. Just don't dare me. You need to stop. Okay? You need to stop. No one is cheating on you. You need to stop being negative. You need to take those negativity off your mind. You can't possibly have a dream and think it is reality. It was just a dream. No one is cheating on you. I don't have anything to do with Sandra. I'm here working. Working hard to pay bills. It's okay. I believe you. But don't dare me. You know I can kill, right? Oh. You need to stop saying that to me. Alright? Stop saying that to me. It is wrong. I'll be traveling to the village first in tomorrow morning. Why? Is there a problem? I think it's about Chidima. My dad called. He sounded furious. 
All right, that's fine. When are you going? I said first thing tomorrow morning. All right, so how are you going? Are you flying or you're driving? I'm flying. When are you coming back? Let me get to the village first. Ada? You need to stop, okay? You're threatening me. And that's totally wrong. You can't tell someone to their face that you're going to kill them. You can get arrested for that. Telling me to accept a married man with two kids. Are you for real? Angie, that is not what I'm saying, okay? What I'm saying is give him chance to explain things to you, okay? Listen, this man wasn't happy with this marriage. He's not happy with it. It's not an excuse to have kept me in the dark all this while. Yes! Just do it and feel the pain. Look, the sister-in-law traced me down to my house. She threatened to deal with me personally. Are you serious? Yes. I don't know who gave her my house address. She threatened to deal with me for what I don't know about. Angela, I'm sorry about that, okay? I'm sorry, but I still maintain, give Kenneth a chance to explain things to you. He might have a cogent reasons for the things he did. Please, I beg you, just allow him to explain. It's because of you. It's because of you I have to take his call. If not, I swear to God, I will not. You know me now, I will not do that. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. <laughs> and um, one more thing. Chidema, what are you talking about? We agreed you'll be traveling to Dubai. Sister, I'm not going to Dubai. I want to be in Abuja. I want to be close to my kids. Eh? I want to stay in Abuja, but not in your house. <laughs> Papa, Mama, this was not the plan. Chilima, what changed? I thought we agreed on this already. What happened again? In Abuja. What is wrong with that? Something is wrong with it. I want to be close to my kids so I can see them, period. I want you to stay far from Kenneth. I don't want him to come back and start deceiving you. Why have you people deviated from the main topic? I said, ask your sister what happened to her marriage. Because I foretell bad days ahead. Papa, you have come again. Which one is bad days ahead again? I don't understand. My husband, this, was, this one you're talking about for telling something that I'm not interested in her marriage and all that. It's not the point. This girl you see is not faithful in her marriage. I have been seeing her snooping around to answer this particular call that usually calls her at night. I'm suspecting her with that number. Who is that that usually call you at night? Mama, it's Olisa. And you're hiding to answer his call. Somebody will all know. I don't even know why everybody is so worried about who I call and who I don't call on phone. How is that a problem? How is you people's business? Your sister said she was never in love. Nor have any feeling at all for Kenneth. Chidima. Sister. Yes, that is it. Can that be over now, please? Ha! You don't want to go to Dubai. You want to go to Abuja. Abuja Abuja really brain. You got no idea Abuja. Abuja marriage. You have seen your life with Abuja marriage. Go to Dubai, it's better for you. Oh my God, Mama, I'm not going there. I don't know why you are looking at me like, am I a child? 
Okay, oh, Mama. Mm -hmm. Let us let her be. You don't want to travel to Dubai again, okay? Yeah? Drink. What's wrong with you? You don't seem happy. What's going on? I'm fine. Okay, someone's obviously lying to me. If you think I'm lying, then that's okay. Sandra, you have to stop coming to my office. My wife had a terrible dream about you and I. She saw us kissing and making out. And that's so wrong. <laughs> Thank God she said it's a dream. Because let's just pray it doesn't come out real. And come to think about it too, you and I have been friends for so long before you even got married to her, Adizi. So I, I still wonder why things didn't work out between you and I. I don't think we should have that conversation. <laughs> Yeah, um, you talked about um, seeing me. You wanted to talk about something. What's, what's going on? Sandra. Okay. I needed some me time. I needed to cool off. I left my house because I wanted to to get some things off my chest. Some things like what? You mean what your brother did? Is that disturbing you? It's more than that. Okay. And you know we can always talk about anything. Come on. Let's share the thoughts. What's going on? I'm sorry, it's my cue to leave. No, 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 sweetheart. You know what you don't need to. Look, look. Let me. You can actually. Um, Stay, stay, right? I enjoy your company. And you can stay as long as you want, you know that, right? Just relax. Sit tight and let me make you feel comfortable. All right? <laughs> what? Kill it! That is it. Please don't tell anyone. And that's why I had to leave. You are evil. How could you do such a thing? I'm telling you all these things because I love you and I want us back. Why would you do such a thing? Are you under a spell or something? No, maybe I was naive. I was thinking I'm helping my brother out. And I have to do it for him. No, no, no. Look, do you know what you did? Do you know? I, I don't know. Someone has to know about this. Yes, because you are at the center of everything. And your sister-in-law is freaking out with stress. I am going to look back to your sister-in-law and tell her everything you just said here. I am going to do that. You dare not. You dare not do such thing. Are you yelling at me in my own house? You stupid bastard. You call me a bastard. Are you raising your voice at me? <coughs> How dare you? I don't know. It's because of police that she changed her mind. And I support her. You know, the young man has been coming around. And your father, in his way, has explained everything to the young man. I see he doesn't have any problem with that. Mama, that is what Olisa told me. But she going to Abuja to visit him is too early. I'm not buying that idea. I've spoken to her. 
Where she sits, she is going. She said she must go there. Mama, the thing is that I don't want her to appear cheap. I know how men are. I know they've been friends since secondary school, but visiting him this early is a turn off for me. Uh, you're right, what you're saying. But wait, if not the young man, who, who else is inviting her to come to Abuja? Me. I don't want any man taking advantage of Chidima. She has been through a lot. Right. It's too early. You're right. But I don't know. I don't know how to approach this matter anymore. I don't know. Sister, I just need to leave this village. I feel choked already. I need to be out of here. See, it's not like I'm asking you not to leave the village. But I want you to come back to my house after visiting Ulisa. That's why all I'm asking. Come on, sister. You know Ulisa. He won't take advantage of me. See, I know that Ulisa likes you and you like him too, but I want you to take things easy. I don't want anybody taking advantage of you. At least take your time, know him, study him, know the kind of man he is. It's okay, sister. So, have you accepted me not going to Dubai now? If you say so, at least it will give you time to know this amount. Thank you. Thank you, sister. <laughs> Just be careful. I don't want any guy taking advantage of you again. And I want you to be happy and genuinely happy. I understand. <laughs> So, what about what we talked about? What did you talk about? So we're going to spend the weekend together. I'm not sure about that, I'm sorry. My wife and I intend to spend time with the kids. Babe, please. Please. Sandra. I've told you to stop calling me babe. I'm someone's husband. Fine. But look, it's, it's just going to be one weekend. Like, just one weekend and then I'll go back to London. I would not even disturb you anymore. Please. All right, I'll think about it. I love you. And, um, you know what? Say hi to your crazy wife as you go.
What the hell is this? What nonsense is this? Hello? Sandra, can you hear me? Sandra, what nonsense is this? What the hell is this? Have you gone crazy? Have you lost your mind? Have you lost your mind? Why did you put this nonsense in my pocket? <laughs> you know, I... I want you to think about me, baby. I want you to think about... Me and what we had today. <laughs> oh, yeah? <laughs> Are you trying to get me into trouble? What if my wife finds out? I know you're a very smart guy. I knew you'd definitely find it before your wife does. <laughs> Look, Kel, I, I want us to spend the weekend together. You know, have some fun, catch up. <laughs> Yeah, and you better not say no because if you do, I'll just have to come to your home or your office. <laughs> and I'm sure you wouldn't want that. Oh yeah, I mean every single word I said. And if you do not want your wife's um, dream to come to reality, you would have to honor my kind and sexy chat to request my king. Sandra. Listen to me! I am a married man. Alright? You need to leave me the hell alone. I need to focus on my family. Do you understand me? Listen, you... You, you can't say that to me. You, you, you can't say... What? Um, you startled me. When did you get back? I wasn't expecting to see you. A while ago. I've been calling your phone. Why have you not been taking your calls? Ah. Uh... Sorry, babe. Long story. So, I had a meeting. A very long one at that. And uh, my phone was on silent. I didn't know you called. I saw your missed calls uh, eventually, but I'm sorry about that. So, what's up? How did it go? Did you see your dad? I did. Honey, guess what? What? <laughs> Ma has declined traveling to Dubai, and she says she wants to live here in Abuja. Really? Mm -hmm. And as we speak, she's making plans to come visit Ulisa here in Abuja. So soon? I tried talking her out, but she seems adamant about it. After all, she's not a kid. So I'll just let her live her life and make sure she's careful. Okay. That's okay. That's okay? <laughs> Honey, what do you mean, that's okay? Don't tell me you're just buying the idea. Um, babe, listen. She's an adult. Um, she's no longer a child. Sometimes I feel like she needs some love, you know. She needs to be uh, loved too, you know. Some love and affection. Yeah. I think you're right. But I'm just worried about her being treated the way your brother treated her and all that. I feel she's been a bit brushy. What do you think? You actually have a point. Yeah, you do. That's by the way. <laughs> so tell me, how was your trip? Hectic and fine. Mm. I missed you. I missed you too. Wait. 
You told me your father wanted to see you. Not really. You know what? I'll tell you all about that. I'm making something. Oh. I need to get to the kitchen. Oh, right. Okay. I'll be right back. Right, sure, 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 sure. I said I'm tired. Come on. I'm tired. Please. Why are you yelling at me? Have you forgotten on your wife? Babe, I'm not disputing you're my wife. I just said I'm tired. Come on. Then just make love to me. Honey, when was the last time you touched me? Babe, can you stop? I'm tired. Baby, I'm tired now. I said I'm tired. Come on. Tell me. Are you seeing someone else? What do you mean? What stupid question is that? I just told you I'm tired. And you're accusing me of seeing someone else. Are you crazy? Don't touch me again. Don't touch me again. Okay, fine. Fine. and open it. Babe! Yes. You are... Pregnant! <laughs> <laughs> yes. I'm so happy now. Mm -hmm. You know what? You know, we just came back uh, from abroad, yeah? Mm -hmm. So after the party, we'll make a preparation to go and see your people. Yes. Babe, it's a lie. Yes, girl, I'm getting married to you. <gasps> Baby, this is what I've been waiting for. I love you. I love you too, my baby. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Babe, I love you. I love you too. You're going to see my parents? Yes. Oh my gosh. I love you. I've been waiting for this. B!
Kenneth. What's up? Have a seat. Why are you standing by the window? Where is your wife? She just stepped out with the kids. Sit down. What's up, bro? Why are you looking gloomy? You don't look fine. What's going on? You okay? Angela is dead. What? Yes. And it's your fault. What happened? You made me kill her. She was carrying my child. She was carrying my unborn child! I made you kill her. What are you talking about, Kenneth? I told her everything. Everything that she needed to know. And she threatened to expose me to your wife. Who threatened her? So we have her. Um, Kenneth, I'm trying to wrap this entire explanation. Okay, so what have you done? Have you gone to the police to uh, report yourself or? I ran away. You ran away? Yes! What do you have me do? I should go to the police and report myself? No, I will not do that. It's all your fault. It's your fault! Hey, you made me hey, do that! Kenneth, listen to me. You need to slow down. Don't tell me to calm down. No, you need to slow down. All right? We need... You need to calm down and let's, let's find a way out of this. Kenneth! Kenneth! Yeah, hello. Yeah, so when are you landing? Okay, all right. Um, I will be at the airport waiting. Yes? No, 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 no. You don't have to worry yourself, my dear. I'll be at the airport, okay? All right, now. Wish you a safe flight. All right, see you soon. should return by Monday, yeah. Honey, this is so sudden. I know, but I have to go. It's important I attend the meeting. They need me. I need to sign some documents, yeah. What? Why don't you send your secretary? Really? My assistant? No, I can't do that. Um, babe, give her some break. I need to go in person, all right? Because I need to sign some documents, like I said. What? It's, it's okay. Yeah. You know what? Let me fix you something to it. I'll be back. There's no need for that. I'm driving a park at the airport and uh, come back on Monday. Yeah. Okay. Right. Don't forget to call me once you get to Lagos. Of course, I always call you. I was call you. What? Mm. I need to miss you. I miss you. Mm. 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 What? Mm. I miss you too now. I love you. I love you too. Mm. 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 Come here. Mm. I need to miss you. Mm. I'll be back on Monday. Come on. Hey, be a good girl, okay? Mm. Mimi, I'm not happy. I know. Mm. I have to go, babe. Take care.
Uh, hi, Kill. Hello. Uh, don't tell me you're not here yet. Don't keep your baby waiting. <laughs> I am fully set and waiting for you to be here. Yeah, I'll be there in 15 minutes. I said I'll be there in 15 minutes. Just relax. Oh, yeah? <laughs> Ride faster, my king. <laughs> All right, see you soon. Do you have so much confidence in your man? I mean, you think your man is not cheating on you, Daisy? Please, a man that goes for a business submit on a Sunday. No, 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 a Daisy. You have to shine your eyes, open your eyes. You know, go the inside ocean, so inside your eyes. No. Sandra girl is in town for, for days now. There are enough. You can't be telling me about this Sandra girl all the time. I know my husband cheated and was retired in the past, but that was because... That was what? Fine. You know that it took me quite a time to get pregnant. So my husband was actually going out with her, thinking that she was going to take him. But that never happened. So what are you saying? A daisy. The truth is that I do not want you running to me crying. I don't want you to come to my house crying. Excuse me. I you. care for you. That will never happen. Care okay. for yourself. <laughs> okay. So what if you wake up one morning and then someone shows up with a child for your husband? What are you going to do? Tell me. Dora. My husband is coming. Hello, darling. This one you're sitting all alone and I hope there's no problem. I had a very terrible dream. I had a terrible dream. Yes. Come sit. Come and sit. Tell me about it. My husband, I had a very terrible dream. In that dream, two hands were fighting themselves to death. The fight was so fierce that they were injuring themselves blood. In fact, it wasn't a, a good sight at all. The sight was so nasty. I tried everything possible to separate them and I couldn't. Which one is uh, two hands fighting themselves to the point of enjoying themselves? Husband, I don't know. You know me, it's my dreams. I am as confused as you are. But you know, the, the one that made the matter so worse, when I rushed to the backyard to go and pick up a stick to chase them, to separate them, getting to the backyard, I saw a dead cock. A, lying on the floor. A dead cock. Yes. So this whole thing is, is very confusing. It, it, it's okay. I will try and find the meaning of the dream. 
Okay. It's okay, it's okay. I will try and look for the meaning of, of, of the dream, okay? Um, where is our daughter? She didn't tell me where she was going. She's not back yet. All right, I will... I will call her later and tell her everything I'm doing, okay? Um, I'm hungry. Oh, let me get your food. Sorry, I kept you waiting. It is fated to happen. But the truth has refused to come to limelight. Like I told you before, my friend, after death, nothing else matters but war and calamity. Is it not? You, you, you're, not, you're not helping matters at all. Can you try and be a little more explicit? I'm, I'm getting more confused. You say calamity, dead, war. I don't know what to do. Sabu, has happened right under your nose. And you claim you cannot smell it. Should an elder like you Ask for explanation to adage. It will be a slap on your grey hair, my friend. Nothing has changed. And whatever may change after death can only be calamity and war. It is better you wish you are not alive to see or witness what is about to come. You see the unbelievable. <sighs> um, has it anything to do with the dream my wife has always had? The gods can reveal things to men in a way they will understand. But when they fail to comprehend, when they get stuck and confused, they call it mystery. Whatever that's been played out, dream or reality, revolves around your home. But my daughter has refused to accept the fact that she was into extramarital affairs, a reason for which the marriage may have collapsed. Did they say marriage? Can a marriage be a mirage? If yes, then there was never a marriage in the first place. No, my. My, my my daughter was married and had two, 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 two kids, two children. Fine. Argue that with your spirit. You have failed to understand even when you ask the man. A man should not believe all that he sees. For even the foaming waters are crystal and clear. I tell you, I am. I'm not lost and I'm lying. But what can I do to prevent this calamity that you talk about? Nothing. Nothing but peace. Speak peace. Preach peace. 
For at the end of the day, it might have some impact on the other side. But ears will bleed and wish they never heard. And even eyes will wish they never saw. There is bad news. My brother was arrested. Yes. His friend called me and also came to the house. He said your brother wants to see me. What for? I don't know. I was waiting for it to return so we can go together. Babe, just let me handle it, alright? You just stay back. Okay? Are you sure? Yeah, I'll see him myself. You don't have to come with me. So, how was your trip? <sighs> you don't want to know. Hectic. Terrible. I'm tired. Now you're back home, I can at least take care of you. Let me make you food. Uh, I just want to shower. Where are the kids? In the room. Okay. Alright, just help me with that. Um, Careful, that's heavy. Oh, that's heavy. Thank you for the treats. I really appreciate it. You're welcome. And I'm happy you had great fun. I um, Chidema. Yes, Elisa. About what I told you the other time. I really meant everything I said. Listen, I can't imagine life without you by my side. Please, let's give us a chance and let's make it work. Come on, Elisa. Can you just drop me at my sister's place? Please. Why? Why can't we talk about this right now? Oh, I don't want to talk about this right now. See, I'm tired. Can we just go, please? I know, it's just that I'm troubled. I, I... Come on, let's go. It's alright, it's alright. Can we take a minute to pray before we eat? Oh, I forgot your dad was a pastor before his demise. You know already. Okay. Dear Lord, bless this meal that we may eat and be healthy and have more in abundance. Amen. Amen. Shidima, hmm. you and Alisa will make a great couple. At least he's a God fearing man. <laughs> And Olisa, hope yeah. you took care of her over the weekend. Hope you made us stay an interesting one. Mm. Yes, yes, sister. I I enjoyed my, my stay with him. Right? Um yes, yes, yes. Um yeah, we went visiting nice places. Um she enjoyed herself. She had great fun. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And sister, um, Ulisa is a very nice man. I enjoyed my stay with him. I see. Uh, um, yes, we we're just catching up on old times. You know that feeling, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Honey, why are you not eating? Are you not enjoying the food? And you're not eating as well.
Yeah, hello, Chidima. Yeah, I just um, got home. I'm in front of my gates. Yes. Chidima, yeah, I, I want to ask you a question. What just happened back there? You never spent any weekend in my house, so why do you have to lie to your elder sister? Listen, I do not appreciate lies, okay? And besides, why do you even have to lie in my name? That's the problem I'm having with you right now. Listen, try and be honest in everything you do. You never can tell if they will allow you to go where you, wherever you want to go. Please don't do that again. In short, I don't even know what to think of you right now. Don't do that again. Hope you're doing fine. Okay. So I'll call you later tonight so we'll talk about tomorrow's movement, right? Take good care of yourself. Sweet dreams. Bye. How are you, brother? I did not send for you. I sent for your wife. Kenneth. Unfortunately, you can't see my wife. It's impossible to see her now. I want to be free. Kenneth, you don't understand. You cannot be free. You're in police custody. You murdered your lover. But I want to help you. You have to let me help you because I can help you. Evil. You are a monster! My own flesh and blood. You ruined my life. Kenneth. You don't understand. I want to help you. But you cannot see my wife. You cannot say a word to her. If we have that deal, then I'll help you. For how long? How long will you keep this? As long as we live on Earth. Sandra. So you've gone back to Sandra. I regret marrying Chidema. I regret it all my life. Kenneth, I'm very sure you don't want to go to jail. Your life is in my hands. We strike a deal, you won't say a word, and I'll get you out of here. Think about it. Go to hell. Go to hell! Think about what I said. My own brother. Hi Sandra, listen, I'm coming to see you tonight, okay? I need to get things off my chest. I understand you, but listen, I'm going to see more of you before you go back to the UK. Just chill. I'll see you tonight, okay, please? Can you start explaining to me what happened yesterday? I got the backups and drama. I don't understand, sister. What are you saying? Don't you dare me. Where did you spend your weekend? And what did you come to Abuja to do? Chidima, you lied to us and lied to Mama and Papa. Sister. 
I saw the looks on his face. You know that I am way smarter than you, right? You know. So wait. I see. So this is why Kenneth called off the marriage. You were cheating on him, right? Sister, I was not cheating on anybody. Chirima, I am your elder sister. Who did you come to Abuja to see? Sister, I went to see an old colleague of mine and he has gone back to England. Damn! Damn it! And you said you are not cheating. No! Answer me, you are not cheating! I will never cheat, sister. I won't. A lot has been going on. And I pray you find out soon. Spare me all that! You have the nerves, Chidima. You spent three days with that stupid old colleague of yours in Abuja. And you hipped it on Olisa. Why? Chidima, what do you really want? Is the person you spent the, the, the weekend with, is he better than Olisa? He is better than Olisa. He is. He's the love of my life. He deflowered me, sister. He has showed me nothing but love, care, everything. It's just that he's unfortunate. I mean, we are unfortunate. But I'm going to stand strong. Yes, I will stand strong to fight for us. He's a married man, right? Chilima, he is a married man, and that's what makes him unfortunate. Listen, I will never give you an advice that will ruin you. Chilima, you cannot be going out with a married man. It will only destroy and ruin your life. Listen, tonight you have to cancel all the relationship you have with that man. Sister, I'm not a child. You don't tell me what to do. How dare... What's going on here? Chidima. Hey, you listen to me. Don't you dare lay your hands on me next time. Did you hear me? And listen to me. You are not in the position to tell me who or who not to get married to. Did you hear me? He is a married man. And I love him. And I want to get married to him. You tell Olisa, I won't get married to him. Neither you, Mama or Papa, could tell me who, who to get married to. Did you hear me? Rubbish. Hey! Jesus, Jesus, I've lost my sister. Babe, what happened? Talk to me. Chidima, Chidima wanted to slap me in my own house. What, what, what really happened? Oh, Jesus, Jesus. Talk to me, what really happened? Chidima is going out with a married man. Hey, I'm finished, oh, I'm finished. Could that be why my brother insisted on seeing you? I think so. I had Olisa came here with his people to seek for my hand in marriage. Mm -hmm. Please tell them I'm not, I'm not interested. Don't, people should not take anything from them, please. But you said you went to Abuja to see your sister and from there to see Olisa. And Olisa does not appear to us like someone who is not genuine. So, what happened? Papa, everything is fine. Melissa, it's fine. He is okay. There's nothing wrong with him. So what happened? Why are you rejecting him? Mama, you push you understand me. I don't love Olisa. 
We don't love each other. Eh? My heart is occupied. Like, I love someone else. Eh? So let's just, please. Please, eh? Let's stop talking about this, Mama. Maybe you need some time. I should, or we should tell Olisa to let you be. To give you some time so that you can cool down your head and begin to think in the right, in the right direction. Mama, I don't need any time. My head is calm and cool. I'm fine. I don't need, I don't need the time, people. Hmm. Then in that case, you have to bring the, the man that your heart yearns for all this while. Let's see him. Hey, hey, Papa, now you're talking. You meet him at the right time. Uh, you heard from the horse's mouth. I told you this girl is seeing someone else. That was why her marriage collapsed. She has been cheating on her husband. I told you. Mama. That mystery man. That mystery man. No problem. I know me. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. I would live to see that mystery man. Gods of Allah, let us see that mystery man. Please do not allow the prophecy of Ezemo come to pass. Where yeah. are you going again? Babe, I'm trying to ensure my brother doesn't go to jail. Can't you wait till tomorrow? You just go back from work. Babe, no, it's urgent I see him. I need to see my lawyer. It's very important, please. Okay? I'll come back shortly. Hey, cheer up, okay? I'll be good. Okay. Sorry, I need time I about. Come and see me up to the gate. Okay. Cheer up now. I'll be back before you know it. Okay? Yeah. Come in. Sandra, I apologize, but I'm here now. We're spending the night. What did you say? <laughs> Are you out of your mind? Of course I'm out of my mind. I'm not going to spend the night with you. I'm sure you know that. If you leave, I will expose the secret you have with your brother that has ruined his so-called marriage. Yes. So you choose to spend the night with me? Oh yes, baby. I need sex. Hot one for that matter for you. A long night of love making noise stop. Or you choose to watch a marriage go down the drain. Mr. Smart Husband. <laughs> Sandra. <laughs> That's me. Oh, you think I came to Nigeria to just roam about? With no plans. <laughs> you must be joking. So you know about my brother? <laughs> what else do you know about him? I also know that your brother was in cell for killing his pregnant lover. Oh, lest I forget in detail. You killed him, just to cover up all traces. <laughs> but for how long? <laughs> come, 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 come here. Take this thing. Take this. Your friend might say, make I give you. Give yourself if you like. Give yourself.
Ego tracked his friend to the supermarket where he bought those stuff for his friend, your brother. Meanwhile, you already had a police waiting. But yet, another alternative showed up because he said he was going to the cell to see his friend. <laughs> you injected the juice. You killed your own flesh and blood just to cover up. Sandra, I love my wife. He wanted to see my wife, but refused to take my request. That is none of my business. I just wanted to let you know that I know all the games you've been playing. Yes. Sandra. You don't have a choice. Are you trying to blackmail me? No. Just a night together. That's all I want. And they are watching, just so you know. Just in case you try to sneak life out of me. <laughs> and who's watching? <laughs> That's you know when you try anything funny. You know, I still feel the pain, the anger, the depression that you have caused me all these years by picking a duck over me. I apologize. I said I was sorry. Oh, no, don't be sorry, baby boy. <laughs> I'm just fine with you by my side. Chidema. Mama. What is it? I have been observing you. What is the matter? Oh. Chidema, you are not fine. You are my daughter. You are my child. I know you very well. I know everything is not fine with you. The night is full of worry. Everybody is anxious. Myself, I cannot sleep. I believe you're going through the same thing as well. Mama, I said I'm fine. I'm just worried about my children. And, and I, I don't know, I, I had a terrible dream. But I'll be fine. A terrible dream about what? I dreamt my husband died. What? God forbid. I mean, you mean your ex-husband? Mama, I'm just feeling restless. I don't know how I'm feeling. I, I don't know.
What kind of meeting is this? Look at the time. And why is this number not even connecting? Why is your heart full of evil? You look innocent at words, but inside of you. Everything, oh, my flesh and blood. He is in control. 